Hey y'all, it is Thursday, August 15th, 2013, and you're watching Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works with me, Texas Danielle. Um, this week's question is to graze or not to graze. Um, offer tips to avoid eating constantly, suggest ways to break the grazing habit. If you list foods you reach for that are better to snack on than others. So I... <laughs> I usually don't graze yet. I haven't, um, like, for, like, a consistent amount of time. There is, like, a few days where I feel like I'm eating all the time. And on those days, I never feel satisfied. So I try not to do it because it doesn't satisfy anything whenever I don't take the time to sit and eat and focus on my food. Um, now, there are times where I have to grab a snack and go. I usually try... I usually know what my day is going to be like so I try to plan accordingly I will pack my lunch time and snack time meals the night before so that way there's no excuse for me not to have um, protein first meals bariatric friendly meals lap band friendly meals um, usually if I go for a snack my lately I have been craving Deli meat, I usually get like garlic and herb chicken deli meat or mesquite turkey breast with Havarti or provolone cheese and uh, pickles sliced lengthwise thin and I just kind of like fold it in thirds so it's meat, pickle, cheese, meat, pickle, cheese and meat. So it, it, the way it rolls up is, I don't know, but it's amazing. It is two ounces of meat, one ounce of cheese and two slices of pickle and it is the best thing since sliced bread in my opinion I don't eat the bread on it anymore so that's one of my great go-to protein first meals uh, or snack if I'm gonna do it as a meal I'll do two of those usually um, and I mean my husband and I we go and we just pick out deli meat I am on a deli meat kick um, I get two or three slices at a time because I don't eat it that much because if I'm at home, like that's something I'll pack on and throw it in a Ziploc bag and eat it within an hour or so whenever I'm out on the road or at work if I have a way to refrigerate it. Whenever I'm out on the road, I eat Quest protein bars. They're 100, I believe 160 to 200 calories depending on the bar you get. Um, all around 20 grams of protein, so that is great for me. I love them. I love them a little soft and gooey. So if I'm traveling, like if I'm running errands, grocery shopping, store to store, I throw it in my dash and let the sun heat it up and then it's perfect whenever I'm ready to eat it. We, every now and then I'll buy like a jerky stick, a uh, beef, like a Slim Jim kind of looking stick, but I'm kind of, I don't know, I got this from uh, Wendy Williams and she took a lighter to hers and like was like lighting her Slim Jim and eating it. And I was like, holy shit, why wouldn't that be delicious? It's like cooked pepperoni. So I'll take a lighter and like I cook my Slim Jim and eat it that way. It's all nice and crunchy. It's delicious, guys. You, you got to try it. Um, another thing I like to have on hand in the house are Baby Bell cheese for snacks. Uh, my husband likes those and I like them. We do get the full fat one just because he doesn't like the low fat into me. Um... It's so minimal, the difference in my opinion and for me, so it's something we do go on. I love to have, I buy the prepackaged little .8 ounce cheese and I eat those for a snack. Whenever I feel a little hungry, like if it's an hour before like dinner time, I'll eat one of those. What else do I keep on hand? Another great thing, I make a protein shake if I am really wanting, to, like, usually my afternoon coffee is, whenever, is one of the things I miss so much. I've been trying to cut those out because I'm trying to save money and trying to save calories. So, I'll come home, I'll make a protein iced coffee or a protein uh, frap. I make my protein whatever flavor I want. I have a bazillion sugar-free flavors and I have made... Protein, I made, I've made coffee ice cubes, so I do my milk, my coffee ice cubes, my protein powder, whip it all up in a blender, call it good. I make it super thick so that way it takes me longer to drink it and um, it's thick, thicker so it gives me a little feeling in my pouch that I have something in there besides liquids. Another thing is if I feel the need to graze, I'll check my water. Check on your water, guys. If you're feeling the need to eat, neat, neat, it's probably your body saying, hey, I'm thirsty, thirsty, thirsty. 
So that those are things I do. I choose not to graze or I try not to at least. Um, some days you just can't help it. You don't even realize it. And that's whenever you need to start. You track it. Whenever I, I do graze, I track. So I, I see the days I'm doing it. And I know the pattern. So I try to avoid it. Um, other than that, I think that is all. I, I try not to. You shouldn't try not to. Check your water. Check your protein. Um, keep protein friendly cheese. I love cheese. Keep it in the house. Um, you know, Quest bars are our new go-to. But my husband and I both love them, so it's something easy, and I can justify spending that money on it because we both eat it. So, yep, those are a few of the things that I reach for, guys. I hope y'all have a great week, and I will catch y'all next week for another proof weight loss surgery works. Bye, guys.